Alamanda plant is a perennial flowering vine or bush noted for its leathery dark green foliage and trumpet shaped flowers. It can be grown as a potted plant or landscape ornamental. I have almanda plant in three different colors. This one is yellow, this one is orange with yellow shade and that one is purple. A lover of sun, it needs lots of sunshine to produce beautiful blooms. So if possible, mimic nature and shade the plant but give the tips lots of sunshine. Maintain a southern exposure which will provide an appropriately bright light level. Train the almanda vine against the trellis as soon as it is tall enough to reach it. Spread the vine across the trellis and twist them gently around the support to encourage vertical and horizontal growth. Do not use ties to secure the stems because it may cause strangulation. For potting mix, mix 40% normal garden soil, 20% organic compost or vermicompost, 20% coco peat and 20% fine sand. Mix it well. Take a well-drained pot with drainage holes at the bottom. Cover the holes with small stone or gravel and fill it with the potting mix. Gently tease the roots of the plant. Make a hole in the center and gently place the root ball in the hole. Fill it with the potting mix. Tap the soil around the stem, water in thoroughly. During growing season, in high temperatures and humidity, almanda requires lots of water. During its flowering period, pay attention to the plant's water use. Very often, it requires some extra water to avoid flower loss. Keep the soil moist but not soggy. Feed the almanda plant once in 15 days during the growing season, from spring until late summer. Organic compost such as decomposed cow dung, vermicompost can be added in the soil after every 15 to 20 days. NPK fertilizer are good for almanda plants. Dissolve 1 teaspoon of 10 ratio 10 ratio 10 or 20 ratio 20 ratio 20 NPK fertilizer in 2 liter of water. You can directly give this mixture in the soil or you can foiler spray it on the leaves. Always water immediately after adding fertilizer in the soil. Spread lightweight organic mulch around the base of the almanda plant to conserve moisture and discourage competitive weed growth. Make sure to add mulch 2-3 to three inch away from the plant stem to avoid stem rot.
Prune the almanda vine in late winter or early spring to control its size and improve its appearance. Remove up to half the stem height, prune out any cross branches to improve air circulation among the interior branches, which will help prevent fungal infection in the foliage. Watch for signs of iron chlorosis such as yellow vine foliage and a general lack of vigor. Treat chlorotic almanda plant with iron chelate foliar spray. Spray the foliage monthly during the growing season. Protect almanda plants from the cold if a frost is forecast. Cover the plant with plastic cover or burlap and keep the soil moist to increase radiant warmth from the ground. Move container ground almanda plants inside to a warm bright room until all frost danger has passed. Watch for signs of insect pests such as mites, mealybugs and scales. Symptoms include cottony matter on the twigs, damaged leaves and stem dieback. Treat insect infestation with a liberal application of insecticidal soap every 7 to 10 days until the insects are gone.